your ears are blind. And I think that ideally when you walk into a club, you experience something before you see even who's playing. And who's playing has increasingly become female DJs. Women are making it in an industry dominated by men. For Mia Moretti, there weren't a lot of women to look up to when she started DJing 10 years ago. I remember the only times really seeing a picture of a DJ on a flyer for a club, she was in like a sparkly bikini top. So it was like a marketing tool really to get to promote sexy girls <laughs> and music and a club. <laughs> but times have changed and female DJs aren't just performing at clubs. They're also at big venues and fashion events. DJ Kiss has become a regular at Madison Square Garden. She spun for Madonna and even President Obama. People, for some reason, they think that DJing, which is really just, you know, a mental thing, you're putting together a playlist song by song, they think that, you know, only guys can do it when that's simply not true. Not only are female DJs getting you to dance, they're also becoming pop stars and fashion icons. <laughs> In the DJ world, Chelsea Leyland has been branded a fashion DJ, which keeps her very busy during fashion weeks all over the world. I never set out to be like a fashion DJ. It just kind of happened like that, and, um, and I love it, and it's amazing. And I, I sit with designers, and, and we talk about how the music should reflect the clothes and how the clothes will reflect the music. And, you know, they play hand in hand, and it's amazing to be able to put the two things together. Before... You would never see a DJ on a runway, are you kidding me? That's so tacky. But now you're like starting to see it, and I think the goal is to try to like find ways to make that work that are true to both art forms. They're modern day celebrities. To me, they have such soul and such style, and you know, dressing Mia to me is, you know, she's one of my favorite people to dress, because it's not like you're dressing the, someone's image, you're dressing them. Like you're dressing this amazing, sexy, cool, creative woman. And those fashion events have meant big bucks for the DJs. Fashion events pay a lot more money than clubs because you're working with a brand now. And I think that females do a lot more fashion events because there are more female fashion events than there are male fashion events. So that money might be triple or quadruple what you make in a club and females are getting all that. Still, female DJs haven't seen the same opportunities as male DJs. In corporate America, they say women make only about up to 72% of what their male counterparts will make in that industry. Do you think it's the same for your industry? Uh, no, but as entertainers, it's kind of all over the place, right? Like You could get paid half a million dollars for endorsing a brand. Those guys like Tiesto, who is the face of guests, I don't know, he probably got a couple million dollars for that. Would a female get that much in a campaign? Yeah, I think so. Is there a female as big as Tiesta right now? No. But it's only a matter of time before a female DJ becomes a household name. Several years ago, you didn't just walk into any club or, or any event and see a girl DJ as it is now. So it was still kind of unique, and I still feel like even now people are like, oh, a girl DJ, and I'm like, you need to get out more. Girls are taking over right now. Like, where have you been? Keisha Lamont, CNN Money, New York.